Hey, hi. You might have know about mirror formula. It seems very easy, but actually it is pretty complex to derive. But don't worry. In this video, I will derive it for you with so is that you will never forget. But for that, you have to watch this video till the end. So, okay then, let's start the video. So, we will start with the basic diagram of concave mirror. In this diagram, a distance between pole P and focus F is called as focal distance, which is denoted by letter small f. And distance between pole and center is called as radius of curvature, which is again denoted by letter small r. This small r is always equal to 2 times of f. Just remember this till the end. Okay, so for now, let's keep these things aside. Right now, we will take one object and will try to form its image. So, we will name this object as object AB. Now, it will require three rays in order to form its image. So, first ray travel parallel to principal axis and after reflection is goes through focus. A second ray travel through center and after reflection it returns on the same path. And finally, third ray which directly hit to the pole and reflect back from the pole something like this. The point where these three rays intersect, it is a point where our image is formed, which we will call as A dash B dash. Now look at the principal axis carefully. We got two new points, point B and B dash, in which distance BP is called as object distance which we will denote by letter small u and distance b dash p is called as image distance which we will denote by letter small v now we are having four values we just need two more equation to derive the mirror formula which we will identify based on our triangle geometry so let's focus on our first triangle pair which is triangle abp and triangle a dash B dash P. Here, angle A P B and angle A dash P B dash will be equal because we know in mirrors, angle of incidence is same as angle of reflection. And that's why triangle A B P and triangle A dash B dash P are called as similar triangles. It means I can say A B divided by A dash B dash is equal to BP divided by B dash P. Now we will call it as equation number one. Now for second equation, we will focus on triangle ABC and triangle A dash B dash C. Here by opposite angle theorem, our angle ACB will be equal to angle A dash C B dash. It means I can say that AB divided by A dash B dash will be equal to CB divided by CB dash. And we can call it as equation number 2. If you compare equation 1 and equation 2, then you will notice a left side of both equation are same. It means equation becomes AB divided by A dash B dash equal to CB divided by CB dash equals to BP divided by B dash P. Now, in this, we call this part as our equation number 3. Now, we already know the value of BP as U. Similarly, value of B dash P as V. So, let's put them in equation. So, our equation becomes CB divided by CB dash equals to U divided by V. Now, we will try to write these two terms in the form of UFV. So please pay attention. Now here, CB can be written as BP minus CP and CB dash can be written as CP minus B dash P. And we already know the value of these four terms. So after putting all the values, we will get U minus 2F divided by 2F minus V equals to U divided by V. Now we will cross multiply this. We multiply by u minus 2f 
equals to u multiplied by 2f minus v. So after solving this equation, we will get u v minus 2f v equals to 2f u minus u into v. Let's put u v terms on one side and f terms on another side. So it becomes 2 u v equals to 2 f u plus 2 f v. Now let's divide both sides by term 2 f u v. Here you will see there are so many similar terms. So let's cancel out the similar terms and it becomes 1 divided by f equals to 1 divided by v plus 1 divided by u. And here it is. This is our mirror formula and hence it is proved. I hope you understood this whole derivation. If yes, then please make sure to like this video. If you are not clear with the basic concept, then make sure to watch these videos available on this channel. Soon I will try to upload their English dub videos on this channel. If you still have some doubts, then make sure to put those doubts in the comment section. I hope that you will love upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe for that. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. So that's all for this video. See you in the next topic. Till then, take care and bye-bye.